Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a glowy LED heart with Adafruit's Cutie Pie. This is a simple PCB with NeoPixels that we designed in CNC milled. We made it as a beginner-friendly PCB for folks who want to practice SMB soldering. The Cutie Pie dev board sits flush in the center and features a cutout for the SPI flash chip. To make our PCBs, we use the desktop CNC mill from Bantam Tools. I really like their software because you can easily drag and drop your CAD files. We designed the PCB in Autodesk Eagle and created a custom footprint for the Cutie Pie. This was routed for a single layered board and features pretty chunky traces. The width of the traces are set to 0.6 inches, so they'll work well with a 132 inch tool. I made the SMD pads for the Cutie Pie a bit wider so they're easier to solder. I used the footprint for the NeoPixels from the Adafruit MicroBuilder library. Routing for a single tool keeps it simple and it helps reduce machining time. The single-sided FR1 blanks from Bantam Tools are pre-cut so they'll fit on the spoil board. The 132 inch flat end mill is my go-to tool whenever I'm milling PCBs. Using a fan bit keeps the dust away and it's pretty handy if you're doing any sort of filming. End mills are secured to the collet and the machine has a probing process that checks the tool's Z height. I was able to fit four PCBs on one sheet. You can get the most out of your material by placing your boards closer together. To secure the PCB blank to the spoil board, you can use double-sided scotch tape. I like to use wide tape because it gives you more coverage. Just be careful the tape doesn't overlap. The PCB is lined up with the lower left corner of the spoil board. Material can be warped, so I make sure to press down firmly and wipe the surface clean. After going through your internal checklist, get ready to start milling. While cutting the outline, the fan bit got loose and flew off the end mill. Scary for sure, I let the machine go instead of hitting the emergency stop. Thankfully, this didn't affect the cut, so I just stuck it back on and the tool persisted. After milling, I made sure to inspect the traces and the board outlines. To get rid of all the dust, I like using a handheld vacuum with this tiny tube attachment. To remove the PCBs, you can use alcohol to soften up the adhesive so you can easily pry it off. I'm using a razor blade, but a thin spatula or a palette knife would work just as good, if not safer. I was able to remove the PCB from the spoil board in one piece, which is pretty ideal. After some cleanup, the PCBs came out really nice. All four of these came out pretty clean, so we can get them ready for soldering. They only took about 10 minutes to machine, which is pretty impressive. We'll get the cutie pie ready to solder, but first let's get the spy flash chip soldered onto the back. Use the marker on the solder mask to get the ground pins oriented correctly. I'll tin one of the pads first to get one leg anchored to the PCB, then we can adjust it. Heat up the single pin and then you can reposition with tweezers to correct the placement. Once the first pin is in place, you can add solder to the tip of the iron and carefully brush it onto the pins. I was able to fix some bridging by heating up the solder joint and removing it with a clean tip. Reflow if you need to, just be sure to frequently clean the tip of the iron. Once all the pins were soldered, I thoroughly inspected each of the pads. Next time I do any SMD soldering, I'll try to use some flux. I added a piece of Kapton tape over the power and ground pads to avoid shorting anything out. I secured the PCB to a stick vise and placed the cutie pie on top in the center. Check the pads on both sides so they fit evenly spaced apart. Castellated pads on the cutie pie make it easier to surface mount. After the first pad is soldered, the rest gets easier. To get the most mechanical strength, I flooded the through-hole pins with some more solder. I made sure to thoroughly check the solder joints are fully touching the pads. After that, it's time to solder up these NeoPixels so we can take them out of the tape reel. Place the first NeoPixel using the corner marker to note the ground pin. I used my phone to reference a screenshot of the design so I could correctly orient the LEDs. Similar process, tin the tip of the iron and add a small amount of solder to the pads. Once one pad is anchored, the rest gets easier. Once again, making sure to thoroughly inspect each pad on the pixels. You can use a 5 volt USB battery to power the Cutie Pie with a USB-C cable. It's running CircuitPython using the LED animation library to make them pulse red. 
I hope this inspires you to make your own PCBs and get into SMD soldering. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.